Hey guys, Roller D here. We're back for more portion. Going in now that we met like a, pretty much most of the enemies here. There's only a couple more like the You wanna get these silver leggings to go well with the silver plate that I have. Yeah, one plus one plus one defense. Wow, I can wear Stella's locket. Seriously? Well too bad Stella's locket seems to do nothing in in helping you in any way. It's just I guess it's just there to be a cute little item. <laughs> so there was a good reason to go up there, and I was just bypassing this enemy on hard completely, but I think it actually rises up really quick, so keep that in mind. Fuck you, crows. Fuck off. Fuck off. Not in the mood. Get the hell out of my way, buddy. <laughs> and there's the last enemy that we'll need to beat here. These... Ah, dicks. Man-eating plants. They will not physically eat you. They just love to shoot out little skulls that... ...would give you a little bit of a problem, but... <clears throat> ...they are far from... ...dangerous. And there's a silver plate. Wow, so I have two silver plates. Guess I'll be doing some selling later. <coughs> Fucking hell, game. There we go. Fucking hate you know, so damn much, guys. Yeah, fuck off, bitches. I mean, they're just fly over the damn place, bug the living shit out of you. <coughs> and you might notice that these plants are slowly moving, actually. They do slowly move forward. Just so you know, but as long as you stab them repeatedly, you don't actually have to physically worry about them killing you, or getting in your face or anything. <laughs> and here's an in er, here's the thing about this place that you, I was just noting. There's an interesting way to get to the boss, and it doesn't involve getting out of this place in any way. It involves getting through, or going it underground in one step, so we're just about there. Or is that to deal with these assholes? Holy shit! What the hell? Worked over there? Damn, though, that freaking javelin just taught in there. Just, like, ripped him a new one there. Big time there. I honestly didn't think it was gonna do that much damage in that short amount of time, really. <clears throat> so, if you ever had to fight those enemies, please use javelins on them. Because they seem to just do a number or two on those guys. We got a nice little sunset back there, looking awesome. Fuck off. Not yeah, just die for me, please. Thank you. <clears throat> and we got this little thing. Obviously, what you need to do here is you just have to push it and have Charlotte come in and help. And now we drop down here. We have this little lit up section, guys. Basically, what you need to do here is you need to keep your eyes on the ground because there's a lot of frogs in here. And could just get away with sliding, possibly, but even then you might have trouble because, well, I got hit twice for sliding, so, yeah, just keep that in mind, just try to be careful where you're moving, and how you're moving, and hope that you don't, like, run into a bunch of toad tongues, that's our frog tongues, so, <clears throat> just, when you, just move forward a little bit, poke at the ground a little bit, Wow, far way to jump over me. Play that game with me now. And you want to watch out for the, for this game throw a couple dead ends at you, because this is definitely what dark areas are for. Making a maze out of it. You want to definitely watch out over here, because you have frogs jumping down from above, and they might hit you on the head. Mario style, so keep that in mind. Now we got a nice little hole in the ground to jump out of. Nice. Of course, we have to move this fucking tombstone for right now. You're not very good pizza, you know that? Fucking die. <clears throat> Alright, and you definitely want to kill that man-eating plant when it opens its freaking butt like that. Otherwise, you will have to deal with a bunch of nasty flying things in the earth. Er, flying pollen to worry about. <clears throat> if that makes any sense. Let me reiterate, you basically have to worry about pollen flying out and hitting you. And I'm sure if you get hit by multiple Pollen things is gonna do a serious load of damage. We're already up on the boss, or we're already at the boss coming up, so I think I'm gonna make a quick save right here. And definitely a quick go and save. And we'll see what this boss is like exactly. Better be cool like Dolahan, damn it. 
No, actually, it's not the coolest boss. It's one of the lamest bosses. It's Digon. Or it's Dugon. I guess it's Di or Dog. Dugon. It's basically, the idea here is you're gonna have to hit this boss in the head, and you're gonna have to watch out when the boss kinda jumps up in the air like that. <laughs> what you wanna do here is just wanna constantly stab the boss's face in. And you wanna try to get your hits in on the. Or try to, again, make sure that you get your dabble in. Also, you also want to make sure that you have Holy Lightning equipped, because this boss is very weak to lightning. And here is the boss's worst attack right here, right? We should just try to stay on the surface as best as you can. Right now, Jonathan's doing some dumbass shit, allowing me to get hit over and over again. Yes, yeah, so I gotta use a fucking healing potion. Thanks a lot, Jonathan. Way to be an ass. Okay, that should help me out a bit. <laughs> and this boss loves using attack, just so you know. You love sucking out water and trying to hit you with it over and over, hitting you with the freaking jet burst over and over again. So keep that moving. As long as you jump on the surface of the water, right here is the best spot. You'll be doing fine in dodging that attack. <laughs> Certainly not the easiest attack. And he loves, like I said, he loves doing that. <clears throat> you also spit bombs out of his head. So I suggest taking care of him. Um, you're always sucking up water just in case, because they can't get in the way, and they do hurt a little bit. But this boss will mainly just spam this attack, just so you know. <laughs> Shit! Fucking hell. <laughs> but it's nowhere near as difficult as some other bosses. Oh, fuck you. Of course, I'm starting to make it quite difficult right now. Shit. Okay, get some more healing out of the way, and there he goes, spamming that damn attack again. Make a habit of this attack. In fact, I'll make a habit using holy fucking lightning, bitch. Look how much damage that does. Holy fucking shit. Do that a couple times, we might have quite the fried Diagon. Fuck you. So yeah, as long as you hop on the surface over and over again, you should do okay on this boss. Damn, man, you're like switching sides today. Remember the last time, you are just like sitting in one place spamming that freaking water burst attack. Wow, seriously, you can stop now. You know what? Let me just stop your fight for you for a minute. Fuck you. Damn. <laughs> Good amount of damage there, and there he goes. Yeah, let go of all that damn water. <laughs> yeah, fucking kick your ass. So, this guy can give you some problems, but he is certainly not the hardest boss ever. I mean, you will probably take care of just fine, and well, you'll get this useful spell, Toad Mort. This will actually let you get further, and we'll be using this spell to find all, some, all sorts of secret passages in the older areas, guys. <clears throat> so we're officially done with the Forest of Doom. So I think what I'm going to do now, since I've done a lot of work and completed four paintings, <clears throat> I think I'm going to utilize this time to do more side questing, guys. Alright, let's head back to uh, the entrance real quick. See if we can maybe get something from Win. He might have some, some more side quests, anyways. <clears throat> What's up, buddy? How you doing? What's up, Jonathan? Or Vincent? How are you been doing, too? I mean, I haven't seen you in a damn while. Alright, let's see. Get more of this. Girl, fuck you. Thank you. And what we got for us today, a rank hunter, can defeat a total of a thousand five or a thousand five hundred enemies. The new reward will give you a new weapon. Okay. I wonder how many enemies I've killed so far. Collect five cards. Okay. Let's see, I killed about 861, so that's gonna be a while. Fuck. Well, that kinda sucks. Well, I'm gonna head back to the City of Hayes for a number of reasons. Remember, unfortunately I won't be able to get all the items here, but <clears throat> I'll try to get as much as I can at least. Alright, let's take a look at the map real quick. I probably should have noticed some secret areas in other maps. Um, I guess I can do it right now. <clears throat> I think I probably need to go over here some more. Head down. Hmm, there's not too many areas I need to go to here. Yes. Here wouldn't hurt. And, uh, maybe right here. That's pretty much it that I need to worry about. <clears throat> and pretty much.
much all I need to do here is just take out these, or check out these three areas. And you definitely can see the symmetric in this here. You, I would want to go in this area. Maybe want to clear out this area a little bit better. And we should be good. Okay. And with this forest to do, I would just try to clear out these little, these little, uh, pockets here and there. Like, right this room I didn't even bother to check out. And that area. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> okay, now that we're done do marking spots, let's head into the city of Hades real quick. <laughs> better yet, I have a better idea, since I need to warp my ass all the way over here, I might as well make this a lot easier for me. So pretty much what I'm doing, guys, is I'm exploring old areas and getting the stuff that I need for later. Oh, dick. And just showing what you can do with Total Morph, really. And you can go back in this area and notice that all the damn platforms have just magically disappeared. Looks like they were renovating here while I was gone. Awesome! I love when places just randomly change out of nowhere. <clears throat> of course, you have these enemies that are very fucking weak. They will pretty much just die in some way for you. And now we're in the spot that we need to use this tool more spell. <clears throat> Let's see. Charlotte, demonstrate for us, please. And the thing about the Toad Morse spell is that you don't really need to use, like, the charged up version of it. Keep that in mind. Milliken's sword. This sword's pretty useful. Mainly, well, it's not useful, but it's definitely a strong weapon. Sword that sometimes strikes, turns those, it strikes into stone. So, if you have an enemy that's weak to pepper, petrification, you just use it, utilizing this baby on him. It'll pretty much wipe them out completely. Nice. <laughs> so keep that in mind. I don't think it'll do well, well against these enemies. Get the hell back here. Yeah, punks. So yeah, Melican Sword is pretty useful. I suggest maybe utilizing it when you can. Especially if you know the enemy is weak against it. Ah, shit. Fortunately, this enemy isn't. What the hell did I just do? I guess I did critical strike or something. And here's an axe, like an, a physical swinging axe. This is probably something I should have gotten well ahead of time. Of course, it gets a sing heavy single edge blade. Yeah, it's a lot, it's pretty much like the mace, except that it's a bladed weapon, or it's a slashing weapon as opposed to a blunt object. Pretty strong weapon, I would say. Too bad I already have some better weapons at the moment. <laughs> that would have that though that well would have yeah that would have been your pretty much your strong weapon for a while, but I just decided to totally skip on it for some silly reason. All right, but we're <laughs> but that's all I need to or need to go here for just to get that damn that nice little uh, axe and. Also for that uh, militant sword. All right, so hold on while I get back to the main entrance, guys. All right, guys, we got what we need from here. Let's head the hell out of here. <laughs> now I'll have to head back to uh, Sandy Grave for a number of good reasons, and I think what I'm going to just do is I'm going to warp to where I need to be once I get to the Sandy Grave, and then I'll show you what you need to get, maybe. I was risking my life and limb for that damn it. for that item, but it won't be too bad, really. Kill you real quick, excuse me. God, those maids are just too easy to kill now. I feel bad for them. Maybe they need to maybe they need to form a union and strike against the owner. Dracula, we th we're tired of getting killed by Jaws there every five seconds. Give us praise. No. Oh. Okay, so now we're in the sandy grave. Hold on while I get to that point where I need to be. Alright, we're in the spot the spot that we need to be real quick. What you just want to do is you just want to have Charlotte turn you into a toad. And then Jonathan can bounce his way up over here. And this is the spell that we will need to actually progress in this game. And, and I'll explain what I mean by progress. Advanced spell that cures status that normally is within range. 
so it's a pretty useful spell. Too bad it's just one of the slowest charging spells in the game, and you'll see why for a number of reasons. But next time, guys, we'll get some more stuff and then move on. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios.